Stamford Bridge as the venue. I must say the weather has certainly cooperated. It's beautiful here today. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Chelsea up against Aston Villa. Well, Joe, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Douglas Luiz plays alongside Boubacar Camara in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Badi Achille. Joao Felix. What can Chelsea do from this position? Pushed into the penalty area. Now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Watkins. Douglas Luiz. McGinn. Young. Well, possibilities inside the box. And a no-nonsense clearance. Well, he's a true magician with the ball at his feet, Joao Felix. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this match? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play. Must score! Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Joao Felix. Joao Felix. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Now sending it in. Not the best clearance. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Sterling. Delivered into the area here. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Emiliano Buendia. An unforced error, you've got to say. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Buendia. Well, closed down straight away. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort. It's a tough cookie. I think we'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. In by Sterling. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Emiliano Buendia. And it's a quality pass. They've lost it. Well, the ref
referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage. Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, in with a chance! Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And the danger is averted. Well, they can all calm down now, Derek. They've got away with that one, you have to say. Well, that was a great opportunity for Chelsea to take the lead. If they continue to make chances, you sense they'll get their noses in front soon. But it should boost their confidence that they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Joao Felix. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Chilwell. And back with Felix. Determined defending. Well, can they be creative from here? And options in the centre. Wendia. Nicely saved. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Douglas Luiz. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Well, what a game this has been. So much good attack in football between two evenly matched teams. This has been a great watch so far. Mateo Kovacic. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Joao Felix. Could play it in. Havertz! And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Kai Havertz. Kovacic is ready. Well, nothing comes of it. No let up in the pressing department. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. McGinn. Wendia. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Havertz. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Oh, the threat is there. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the first half draws to a close here in West London. And this call. So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. And players waiting in the centre. Well, he's given us away. Joao Felix. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. Well, threat averted. Bubakar Kamara. Watkins. And the pass could do damage. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. 
What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Well, look at the replay here because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Number 8, Mateo Kovacic. Coming onto the pitch, number 23, Connie Gallagher. Alex Moreno. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Joao Felix. Great block. A goal! As they cut it to their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Ramsey. And a creative look about this. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now can they counter clinically? Wendia. Nicely timed tackle. Havertz. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. So a half an hour remaining. And a decent delivery. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Perfect tackle. McGinn. Could cross it in here. And Villa with the ball again. Wendia. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. So making the substitution now. Raheem Sterling to be replaced by number 19, Mason Mount. Mount. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. Well, a yellow card it is, and not too many complaints. No, he can't argue with that. He's been warned. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. But they dealt with the threat posed. He's enjoying space. Dendonka. Well, they've lost the ball. Havertz. Mount. And showing excellent vision. Could be. 
and hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. The clearance wasn't decisive. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Well, couldn't keep it. gone and done Kai Havertz Ziyech a glorious opportunity it was and that could loom large well that should have put them level that could be it for them today Dendonka McGinn he's got the right idea with that pass unable to put the seal on victory well what a chance Derek that was the game right there well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Making progress. And he clears the danger. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And a goal! They lead by two now! And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Not the pass he had in mind. Might be a chance here. Oh, that's a fine save. And over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. The net is staring him in the face. Could pull one back here. Which he does. And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. So the final whistle, and Chelsea take nothing at all from this fixture. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it?